It's a pleasure for me to participate in this uh, opening ceremony. It's not really an opening ceremony. This has been opened about 10 years ago. And uh, to my understanding, there had been more than 3 million customers who had uh, obtained the service of coffee bean. And we are very happy. Uh, BIA Bandar Naik International Airport, we are trying to bring it to the highest international standard. But of course, at the moment, we have certain problems. We have a congestion here. We don't have necessary space. But uh, with, the, we are, with all the challenges, we are going to overcome. Our runway was dilapidated and had not been renovated for the last 20 years. I, as the minister, I am proud to say our government was able to refurbish the runway and uh, put it into order, and even the A380 flights could be landed. So we have got you the necessary customers. So it is your duty to serve them and to the highest standards of uh, catering and uh, hospitality. And I am sure from the part of the government and from the Sri Lankan uh, Airport and Aviation Authority, we have given you the fullest cooperation in order to give a very satisfactory and an excellent service to the tourists and the passengers who are here. And we have a long-term plan. We wanted to have the second terminal in order to reduce the congestion here. But we had certain problems uh, with uh, the with JICA and the Japanese government because they have taken so long to finalize the contract. Uh, but of course, I have taken certain short-term measures in order to uh, ensure that there is no congestion in another one year's time. Now we have called for open worldwide tenders for a temporary terminal which will last at least 10 years. So therefore, within an another one year, you will get another temporary terminal while the uh, permanent te terminal is being built. It will take about three to four years, and we are making all, giving all the efforts to ensure that the permanent terminal is built as soon as possible. So we have taken into consideration the facilities which has to be provided to the passengers. We have, I think we have refurbished the toilets and other facilities which are needed to the tourists and the passengers who are coming here. And we are thankful to the airlines, which uh, shows a very great interest to come to Sri Lanka. And in the same time, in order to ease the congestion here, we are trying to build uh, uh, the Ratmalane Airport, Hingurak Godai Airport, and some other domestic airport which could serve the internal flights as well as private jets. So we have a plan, uh, and our aviation policy has been formulated, and it is in the public domain now. So therefore, Sri Lanka, we are very interested about the safety of the aircraft, passengers, etc., And in the same time, we need the cooperation of immigration, customs, private sector, and all the entrepreneurs who are here. Because they must uh, adhere to the, the highest standards uh, uh, here. Because sometimes I get complaints. Some people who are working in this establishment, they are sleeping. While the, when the customers come, they feel they see people who are sleeping here. So that is not a good uh, uh, show, because uh, that uh, brings down the quality of the airport. And sometimes this, uh, we, we, we see people are like touts. Come, come, take this, buy. I mean, in the airport, you don't do that. Huh? So that must be stopped. The, the customer should have the choice to come and sit where if they want to have a coffee here or anywhere else, if they want to uh, 
uh, buy duty free item they should uh, select uh, uh, where to go but uh, market you know so the uh, the airport is uh, quite different from the Peta market. So therefore, uh, the private sector uh, establishment also has a great uh, deal, a great work to do because their employees must be trained well for their courtesy uh, and for their communication and uh, how they dress, how they talk and how they serve all these things are very much necessary. So therefore, I'm sure that your establishment will uh, uh, keep uh, this mind and have the highest standards and become a pioneer uh, in this business. And we are very thankful because we depend on the private sector. Government can't do everything. Government can't run business. The private sector should efficiently run business in competition. And in the same time, they should uh, ensure that the customer satisfaction is given to the highest esteem. So with uh, uh, these words, I am thankful to my colleague, uh, Honorable uh, John Namaratung, the Minister of Tourism, who is taking so much of interest to bring more and more tourists to Sri Lanka. So it is my duty and our duty to ensure that his aspirations are also fulfilled and have a better airport and an efficient airport. Uh, therefore, I seek the assistance and chairman, the director, management, and uh, Mr. Roman Scott and his sister Palma. Now, they are being responsible for setting up this beautiful lounge which is very well known brand of coffee bean. You see, go to Colombo, you see it very much, and you see it being highly patronized by very many people, both local and tourists. This development here in the airport is very useful and very important for the promotion of tourism. Since Many people who come from the Western world, of course, they like tea, but the next best is coffee. Therefore, providing this opportunity on behalf of the Minister of Tourism, I congratulate the Mr. Scott and his sister for making this effort. As you know, they are no strangers. They have a well-established hotel down Unuvatuna, which is also highly recognized in the tourism industry. As was mentioned by the Honorable Minister of uh, Aviation and Transport, the airport needs expansion, and we have to have facilities, at the same time regulations, both of which he has been addressing I know from the time he took up office, he had been fighting in order to do the expansion and provide the necessary services. Unfortunately, some of these services are beyond him. It, it belongs to another ministry. So sometimes he finds it difficult to move towards his objectives. It applies to me, to him, and to several others. However, I'm confident that Honorable Minister Sinipal de Silva will do a wonderful job in the airport expansion. With the little period that he has had this opportunity, he has done a lot, as he said, to do the runaway and also put a set of team of people in order to ensure with the limited facility to all the tourists that they get their very best and a comfortable passage in coming and leaving Sri Lanka. From the point of view of tourism, Sri Lanka today is experiencing the largest number of tourists coming into Sri Lanka. Last January, we had an increase of 12.5% of tourists over the last previous year. That means last year we ended up with 2.2 million, 
And this year, with no obstacles, we are confident that we could go up to about 2.5 million and bringing in a record income of $3.5 billion for the Sri Lankan government. However, let's hope all the projects that have been lined up, both for the airport uh, expansion, immigration, and other facilities will go through according to the program that has been set, to which we can assure there will be enough tourists who will be coming into Sri Lanka because Sri Lanka has now been described as the finest destination in Southeast Asia. With all the natural resources and uh, the facilities that are here, we can be assured that anyone who comes to Sri Lanka will have his money's worth. Once again, may I congratulate uh, Mr. Scott and uh, his charming sister, Palma, for having set up this uh, place. It's not one of yesterday. They've been here for 12, 12 years. And therefore, we will undoubtedly be highly patronized by all the tourists who come into this airport. I wish them well, luck, and prosperity. Thank you very much. Chief Guest, uh, the Honourable Minister Nimal Siripala de Silva, uh, the Aviation Minister responsible for this uh, wonderful airport that I'm very fond of. Um, uh, also, Guest of Honour, Minister of Tourism John Amaratunga, uh, an old friend of mine, um, and he's absolutely right. My sister is far more charming than me. Um, the chairman, the deputy chairman, and the executive director of the AASL, who, who are very, very helpful to us, Mr. Saman Edervira, uh, Ranjit de Silva, and Johan Jaratna. Um, my friend, uh, Jeff Gunawardner, who's a director on the AASL and is responsible for the retail mall committee, he's the chairman of that, uh, and has done a lot to improve the retail shops. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, and uh, last but not least, most importantly, our, our honored customers. As you can see, this is a working store. We've already opened and we, do, we are full of customers. Um, welcome to the latest iteration of the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf uh, Bandaranaka International Airport. Um, it's uh, touted as our 10th year, but actually we've been here for 11 years. We opened in November 2006, before the war ended. So right from the beginning, the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, uh, a major international brand from the US, showed a commitment to Sri Lanka before tourism developed. Uh, many people know that I love coffee and the coffee bean. Uh, I love Sri Lanka and investing in Sri Lanka. That is because uh, my sister and I, we are half Sri Lankan. Uh, my mother is in fact from Central Province where Minister Nimal is from. I have relatives from Badulla, uh, but most of us are now in Kandy. And the other half is, is from England. Um, we're very committed to Sri Lanka. It was heartening to hear the words of Minister Nimal on further progress and investment in this airport. Uh, we thank you for the new runway, but of course the airport needs expansion. My commitment on behalf of the Kalamanda Group and myself is if the government continues to invest and you develop the new terminal, I will invest and I will continue to invest in Sri Lanka alongside the government as you develop tourism, as you de develop the airport, I will be one of the foreign in, half foreign investors, half Sri Lankan, half foreign investors, who is committed to investing alongside you to develop this wonderful airport. Um, in 1973, I first came to BIA. I was a 10-year-old boy from London, came here to get in touch with my Sri Lankan side. So I love this airport. Um, in another 10 years, we'll be opening a, a third coffee bean. So I'm sure we'll be here in 10 years' time. So welcome everybody to the new Coffee Bean. Coffee Bean would only work and our great hospitality and the fact that our service is good and our boys are never asleep because they've got so much coffee in them. It all depends on the Sri Lankan grace, the Sri Lankan smile. Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf may be an American brand, but it's very successful in Sri Lanka because of Sri Lankans, because they have a wonderful smile, they're wonderful at hospitality, 
particularly boys from Central Province and from the Vatala area where uh, John Amratunga, Minister of Tourism, is from. And so that's one of the reasons why we do well. So welcome, everybody. Um, I'm going to finish on one last note. In the 11 years we have been here, our point of sale system recorded that we have just passed our three millionth customer earlier today. So the three millionth customer who is a visitor to Sri Lanka has been kind enough to stay behind sipping a coffee um, to have a welcome from Minister John Amaratunga. Um, so we will welcome the three millionth customer. They get a large voucher and a, and a big garland and a big welcome from uh, Minister of Tourism John Amaratunga. And they will be eating and drinking because that's what Coffee Bean is all about. I'm Jasmine, I'm from China, and uh, I've been to Coffee Bean a lot of times in Sri Lanka, and it's my favorite cafe. I love the food, I love the variety of cafe, and uh, I love the perfect customer service. So today I just want to send my best wishes to Coffee Bean for its uh, 10th anniversary. And also I hope more and more people can come here, and also like more and more Chinese tourists can come here, and uh, you will get amazing cafe experience. Thank you.